Okay guys, due to uh, popular demand, I'm gonna do a quick run through with my Kestrel that I use when I'm out in the field for target and hunting work. Uh, it's that complex of a, a subject and item that really it's gonna take a few videos. So I'll break it up into sections. Um, I'll start off with the basics and we'll go on to more advanced stuff as we go through. I'll probably make this the first of a couple of videos um, and I'll break it down so it's able to follow as easy as possible, okay? Okay, so we'll start by turning the Kestrel on. Okay, so it welcomes you, applied ballistics, gives you battery level. So we've started off um, at the very top there, you've got the mode. You've got ballistics, easy mode, which is obviously self-explanatory. It's for people that don't want the complexity of the unit itself but they can have it running in a far simpler basic mode a bit like you can do with a mobile phone um, and obviously weather so what we'll do just quickly this is probably the least interesting part for most of you but we'll run this through now because it will become uh, more sort of uh, self-apparent when we go through the ballistic side of things at, at a later date or in the next video so we click on the weather you've got your compass um, which you calibrate and it's perfectly accurate. Um, wind speed, self-explanatory. You've got mid minimum, average and maximum wind speed. You can record the wind speed. Um, temperature, again, self-explanatory. You can measure minimum, average and maximum temperature. Wind chill, humidity. Um, I'll turn these on. Um, barometric pressure, you've got station pressure as well, you've got altitude, uh, density altitude, you can turn a lot more features on, uh, but personally I don't bother, I just concentrate on um, the temperature, barometric pressure and humidity, uh, and of course you've got your date and time, that sort of thing. You can put some like quick reference, quick easy uh, home screens on here where you can have your three most popular or most favourite profiles um which come first but like i say i don't bother with any of this uh, weather side of it i i use that but i use it in the in inbuilt uh, ballistic software okay so what we'll do now is uh we'll come come out of this um obviously you've got your bluetooth options data port that's for uploading downloading software different files and stuff memory options you can tell you can basically leave this outside overnight and it can record um temperatures through the night you can all your weather parameters that i've just shown you you can monitor and track through an app applied ballistics app or kestrel app and you can basically like a full-on weather station uh you can use it as a figure a uh, numerical sort of um, scale or you can use it as a graph uh display is just uh auto shutdown contrast white background red backgrounds all self-explanatory stuff system obviously on your personal preference time format second date format year month that sort of thing so it's all self-explanatory stuff calculation uh, for your compass compass calibration sorry should i say um every now and again you've got to recalibrate your compass or when you change batteries i won't go into calibrating it it's self-explanatory just press the calibrate button and it'll walk you through step-by-step -step instructions um accuracy first we won't go into that at the moment there's no point uh, measurements again um, this is what we're saying before you've got your wind speed direction crosswind headwind temperature wind chill humidity index dew point wet bulb pressure barometric pressure altitude density altitude yeah yeah so it carries on there's loads and loads and loads uh, units depending on where you are in the world you might want to use yards you, wanna, you might want to use meters you might want to use psi you might want to use bar self-explanatory and obviously language battery life 43% lithium battery, so we're all good. Humidity calculation, calibrations, factory restore. So anyway, we won't go into any of that. So we'll go back to the top and we'll click on the ballistic side next. So we're interested here on the ballistic side of things. So move over to the toggle to the right. You can see at the top of the screen it's gone to ballistics. Click on ballistics. Okay, so this is gun profile. So my last shot was 250 yards. Um, what we'll do is we'll come out of this um, and we'll go back to the beginning where currently 
that's my gun profile i've got lots of different gun profiles saved different pellets projectiles slugs uh 39 wildmans fx hybrids i've also got my 223 6.5 204 really i've got lots of other gun profiles in there but for the purpose of the exercise we'll, we'll stay and use the 37 grain zan slugs which is what i'm using currently so if i click on that you've got your gun profile at the top which is obviously what it is um i know from my calculation that i'm running 995 foot per second currently this is actually an older profile but uh drag model you can use different drag models you can use g1 drag values you can use g7s you can use uh, ra4s you can use different types of drag models you can even use custom drag models but again we won't go into that because that's above and beyond what most people want to see bc self-explanatory you can increase or decrease your bc this is the old 39 grain wildman slugs uh bullet weight 37 grains bullet diameter zero range self-explanatory bore height zero height zero offset uh, any questions guys you just ask me in the comments instead of going through each and every single one of them and boring everybody to death um, if you've got a question ask and I'll explain it better uh, via messenger um, units MOA mills true MOA is what I use um, MOA uh, drag scale factor mm, yeah probably at this stage not getting into that um, we'll, we'll skip that you view drag scale factor again this is uh for new different velocity bands and things this is yeah we'll leave that for now and um delete gun so if you've made a complete cock up or your gun's changed or you want to you've got rid of a gun you can just delete the whole profile um so there's the gun input profile so environmentals are self-explanatory again you can click on this you can input these um manually should you wish to but obviously you've got a kestrel so there's no point so what you want to do is click on uh, the toggle button it'll monitor live um, temperature values so currently live gives you your latitude in, uh, latitude gives you your location latitude you've got your temperature um, 20 degrees so that's obviously currently reading now um, station pressure relative humidity, humidity um, altitude spin drift on aerodynamic jump on um so you've got different functions there for your environment range card again not really go into that that's going to give you a drop table basically instead of having drop charts per you know every projectile you've got hundreds of bloody cards hundreds of bloody um drop charts with you you've got it on here so save you carrying the pen and paper out uh target cards same sort of thing ballistics so if i my last shot 250 yards was that rabbit i shot on film the other week um elevation 42.75 minutes wind was 11.2 minutes um wind one wind two is 11.2 to 12.7 minutes um aerodynamic jump was quarter of moa um max orientation or uh, i'm not sure i can't remember the exact word for this but that's basically how far here yeah, max or ordinate it's how far the projectile went above the line of sight uh aer aerodynamic jump is basically uh as the bullet flies through the air and spins it climbs up against the wind uh, or down whichever spin drift tells you everything here coriolis effect horizontal effect vertical correction spin drift uh trace drop 148.68 inches um so yeah time of flight 0 0.9 seconds remaining velocity was 690 eight foot per second that dot means it was in the subsonic range remaining energy 44 pounds uh so yeah there's lots of good stuff in here um which is all good interesting stuff but what we'll do is we'll move on uh manage gun so again just different gun profiles um so basically we've, we've got a gun set up now gun profile set up so what what we'll do here is um we'll simulate what i would do so if i see a rabbit let's just say for quick easy reference it's 100 yards i'll change the range on the target here there you go 100 yards okay so that 190 degrees is the angle to the target with regards to the compass reference so if you know we're facing north at zero if we're facing south it's 180 um 
so it's it's whatever the degrees is from north uh, at the moment that doesn't matter wind speed or wind so you can do it in a simple solution here so you can click on wind so let's say it, let's just say it's a four value wind nine o'clock wind speed one calculate that as your lowest speed so let's just say it's uh, five miles per hour wind speed two is the higher wind speed value so let's just say it's 10 just for argument's sake there you go um i click on that um come back out and that's my fire solution at the top there elevation i'll dial i'll dial on the impact i'll dial 7.65 so seven and three quarter minutes or seven and a half probably depending on where i am wind speed or wind adjustment minimum is 1.7 and on maximum it's 3.2 so depending on whether the wind's constant whether it's uh, changing fluctuating whether it's a gust you know you'd make your own assumption on that and, and dial um quite often it's easy just to hold uh you know split bang in the middle so you'd probably hold two and two two and a, two and a quarter or two and a half moa there um so that's basically a very quick fire solution um, that you can carry out okay so this is where it gets a little bit more technical here i'll hold it up just so i can show you so let's just say i've got a target at 100 yards i click the red button here that's the trigger button and that's calculating my line of fire from north so basically if i'm going to shoot in that direction what 174 degrees so what i would do now once it's settled 174 173 degrees i press hold so that's my line of fire okay so now what i'd do is i'd click down to wind and i'd press the toggle button you can use the kestrel in a weather vane or you can use the kestrel in a um you know just handheld and uh, basically you press this button let's say the wind is blowing completely full-on value nine o'clock wind from the line of fire there you go and if i open sorry guys if i open the wind it will measure the direction of fire which if we said is in a full value left to right wind so it's nine o'clock there you go i'll blow this just to show you i'm sheltered at the moment so there's no wind there's the kestrel spinning up it's giving you a constant on the fly fire solution five minutes ten minutes maximum obviously it's coming down now because the, the um, impeller stopped spinning okay and just like that guys <laughs> you guys are gonna think this is stage so as I'm doing this video I've got a rabbit just come out okay so it's uh, 80 yards so what I'll do because there's very little wind out it doesn't matter on the direction of fire because I'm not going to calculate the wind but what I will do is input the fire solution for 80 yards okay I'll just because I've been holding it refresh my environment okay which is good 80 yards so it's asking me to dial up four minutes elevation on my uh, scope this 0.12 that's only spin drift i'm not going to account for that at this range there's absolutely no point so we have a rabbit 80 yards it's asking fire the kestrel's calling for four minutes of elevation so we'll go over to my impact dial in four minutes elevation you have to bear with us because i'm not even set up for this now um let's see if i can get this for you guys like I say, I'm not ready. I've just dialed in the elevation. Yeah, you have to bear with us, guys, because I'm not... I was trying to do you as a video, and uh, I just locked up on this little rascal and popped out, so... Just loading up. Okay, so that's us. Let me just um, get myself in position. This is as live as it comes, guys. <laughs> so, right. Okay, so I'm in position. Let me just get the bipod out. Okay. 
So we're dialed in. Just dial me parallax. There we are. Perfect, okay. Right, so we're gonna settle into the shot. We've dialed in a four minutes elevation for a shot straight forward. No wind. And he's down. Simple as that, guys. Okay, guys. I think that'll do you tonight. Um, it'll take me an hour just to put these couple of little videos together. But that'll be the first one of, I don't know, call it a, a series or something of um, Kestrel videos or whatever. Uh, like I say, that's the absolute basics of using the Kestrel. Um... I'll put it together, any questions, I'm pleased that rabbit come out actually because it just gives a real life, real live timing if you like, or live um, shot in the field, you know, you sat there doing a video, rabbit pops out, 80 yards, Kestrel calls for eight, four minutes of elevation, you dial your elevation, send the shot, kill the shot, kill the, kill the rabbit, perfect. Um, naturally, if it was 120, 150, 180, whatever, it will calculate that fire solution for you. Um, we'll go on to some more advanced features with the wind um, because that's what makes or breaks good shooters. You know, anybody can shoot in perfect conditions. It's the people that can shoot in all conditions that are the real shooters. But um, like I say, I hope you enjoy it. Like I say, feel free to ask any questions you want and uh, we'll move on, progress to the next uh, video soon. So good stuff, guys. Thanks for watching.